Okay, this space is so fun that I just need to do this. If I throw some energy at you, will you throw it back to me? If I go like this, will you throw it back? If I go like this? Yes! Okay, thank you. My name is Sonnet Labbe. Uh, I've written a, thri a triptych of three poems for you. And in the first and third poems, they, are, they might not sound a lot like what you expect of a poem because in, in those two, all of the letters of one Shakespearean sonnet appear in their original order. So what I did is I treated the blank page like empty land and Shakespeare's text like an original culture that was already inhabiting that space that I wrote over until its voice, though present, is almost inaudible. It's my metaphor for living in Canada. All the giving that we do is on land not necessarily given to us, that gives back to us. Sonnet 37. As I ask for audience from my reputable white, white father. He takes delight to see his impact, his venture capital shifts, world do-gooders deeds. Nonprofits vie for support, his foundations make decisions. A liberalism made by fortune's 500 favorites sets philanthropy's pace. Talks offer me a doubtful platform. My discomfort around the fact of his fly net worth can tone down my truth. Donating is a wealthy-minded person's art. So I donate my creative endowment to him who needs an inspiration not found on the market. My flow is invested in a gratitude for the dictation earth gives. My restorative rhyme is simple, soft power breathed in intentional mind about legacies. Meanwhile, poor Kinder Morgan hates my friends. Meanwhile, the state hates mouthy journalists. Meanwhile, Ferguson. Who dares drop a word of truth in this usual business? What can a leader give to help a poet resist media monopolies? Can philanthropy's abundance amplify suffocated voices? Dig this Canuck dub poetry as a partner, a vocal facilitator, stressing wealth inequality as the urgency of our lives' fragile interlocution. Two. Hmm, my friend was saying... I'm not sure why I give. I suppose if I think about it, I've been pretty privileged. I mean, I guess I should do something, she said, if I'm not out saving seals. So every year I throw some cash to the usual appeals. Sick kids, Greenpeace, whatever. I really don't keep track. But I know I feel less guilty because I know I'm giving back. I hadn't really thought about it either, but I think... I don't give out of guilt. I don't give much. I am a poet. But still, I think I've built a carefully chosen portfolio of the causes I endorse. I give to women, to open access, and to the arts, of course. But when I click to give my money, I'm not giving to give back. I'm an artist, I'm a woman, I'm precariously employed, and I am Obama black. <laughs> I, I don't give from, a, from my privilege, which I do have, but I'm still hustling to get me more of that. I give to focus the power I do have and to feel my own impact on the world around me. I want to know that not all my energy goes into basics like food and Netflix <laughs> and taking care of me. I want to represent for my values. My click proves I have clout. So when I hear philanthropists are trying to figure out why people with much less give more than their wealthier counterparts, you know that it's just a case of us having bigger hearts. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I think that the less money you make, the harder it is to believe your money matters. In economies where money talks, who gets hurt amidst the chatter? When I give for a moment, it's as though I've raised my voice 
I'm not laundering my conscience. I'm exercising choice. I'm putting money where my mouth is and feeling that I can. And for a moment, I have the privilege of any wealthy man. Three. Sonnet 38. How can my I have only words to, to enrich this ambiance of altruism. My muses have always been gentleness and beauty. My object always to invent wisdoms. Burst childhoods might yet not doubt. Doubtless, the breath energy that pours grace into my verse is the same kindness that flows amongst well-met humanitarians. Volunteers indulge a visceral passion for purposeful work. Like good poets, volunteers move hearts. People give their busy selves to further empathy, thankfulness, intellectual freedoms, and human rights. They remind themselves of worthy perspiration. Unusual understandings are gained as pity and apathy's sighs spent for those who we see as dispossessed, are humbled by the talent caring demands. The self drops itself in order to give. I want to give. Feel that intention? It's not selfish. It's might brimming over. It's the body understanding our earthly ecological interdependence at heart level. My usefulness wants to extend itself into many branches. I want to give what I can. This rhyme. As if words could build in vocal materials of sound a higher architecture. As if I might make soft space structurally inside bodies, inside practical minds. The flow, the flow of words, of thought, the flow of interconnection but emanate, pump, and breathe from that space of emptied-out ego. A beautiful, shit-giver's flow through veins and gesture and arteries and gifts and money flowing from the gut hollow of mindfulness. The body knows the pleasure of giving is bo- as body's measure of being finally... I'm going to start over. The body knows the pleasure of gather and release of furious accumulation and furious spend of eat and yes, excrete. The pleasure of giving is body's measure of being finely tuned to all that lives. Our benefit is in giving a shit. All my relations because earth's noblest aspiration is in the shit you give. <laughs>